Hi everybody, this is Kathy Ann Lewis. Once again, it's time for a faith lift. And today I want to lift our faith in the power of love and the power of goodwill and the power of desiring only good for another. Mm. See, we can progress to the place where we don't really hate anybody and we don't want to wish anybody ill will but it doesn't mean necessarily that we are wanting only the best for them, only goodness for them. Because to want goodness for someone is a powerful thing. Just like we want goodness for our family, our friends, those people who we like, that we admire. But what if we did it across the board and we practiced on those people that we don't really hate, but we don't, really don't like? And I learned this lesson mm, years ago when I was in my teens. And I was a staunch born-again Christian. And I worked at a pizza parlor. And I had, a, I had a boss who will be in my mind forever. His name was Ed. Ed. Ed didn't like me. For some reason, I bugged Ed. And for some reason, everything I did was criticized. And I felt it, and the people in the pizza parlor felt it. And he probably didn't even know why I was bugging him. Maybe I reminded him of somebody. I don't know. But it got worse and worse. Until finally the play, it got to the point where I didn't want to work on the same nights he was working. And it was a really bad, it was a bad evening. It was a bad evening at the pizza parlor. Mm. And he was on me. And I wasn't cutting pizzas right, and I wasn't laying tomatoes on the pizza right. And I was just so upset. So on my break, which was only for 15 minutes, instead of going and having a pizza in the in the little staff area, I went out to my car, and I just gripped, gripped the steering wheel. And with everything in me, I said, I hate him. I hate him. And it felt like, because I was this great born-again Christian, and I really did have a spiritual practice, it felt like Jesus was in the back seat. I mean, it really did. It felt like, you know, the presence, the presence of something's in the back seat. And I said, but I realize you probably don't, speaking to that presence in the back seat. And then a verse, because I was a I was a Bible toting verse speaking zealot a verse went through my head and it said to bless those who persecute you or something like that and i went i can't do it i i don't i i, I can't bless him so you do it you go ahead and bless him I, you bless him give him anything he wants i don't care I, just make his life wonderful but keep me out of it <laughs> i tried I did the best I could, which is just to say, God, bless this person. Let your love flow through my hate. And I went back into the pizza parlor and Ed was uh, talking to the other manager and, and he said, Kathy, which I went by Kathy then, Kathy, I, I want to talk to you. And I went, oh, Jesus, <laughs> what now? And he said, I don't know why I've been so hard on you. You really are one of our best employees. I, uh, I'll watch it from now on. And I went, oh really? I, okay, I acted dumb. But when I got into the private part where the staff is, there was a long hallway going back into the kitchen. And I went, I, Jesus rocks. <laughs> What rocks is love. And love doesn't have to be sentimental. It doesn't even have to be felt. Love is the desire for good for another. Love is the desire for good for yourself. Self-love is to desire goodness for you. Universal love is to desire goodness for everyone. Especially those people that it's really hard to want it for them. And yet, that's where the growth is. That's where we become the place where God shows up. That's where we get to prove the power of love. And I've been working it lately. There's a family member that 
is a family member. And I am just praying for their highest and their best. And I've noticed that we're changing together. We interact differently together. Something is happening. And it is the power of love showing up. I encourage you to experiment with this idea. We call this religious religion, science, provable. Pray for those that are bugging you. Pray for those who have harmed you. Pray for those that you really just don't like. And see what happens. Prove these principles to yourself. Bye for now. There's a new territory that I never saw before. Like a fire of transformation breaking through my core. Shining in the darkness, I can see the light of day. And this new territory is my strength, it is my way. Yes, this new territory is our strength, so let us pray. Well, I pray. Our strength, so let us pray. Well, I pray.